welcome to the Native American Cultural Center's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a general overview of the NACC. We'll be going over the history, leadership, community highlights, as well as some major events we do throughout the year. We're also going to talk about uh, ways that you can engage with us even if you're not on campus. So I'll try to include some timestamps here on the side. So if you want to jump through various topics, go ahead um, and let's go ahead and get started. The very first Native American to graduate from Yale was Henry Rowe Cloud in 1910. Henry Rowe Cloud was Winnebago and is by far the most highly regarded alums of Yale University within our indigenous community. The Native American Cultural Center was established in 1993. It was originally located actually on the third floor of the Asian American Cultural Center, which is now located right next door to our current NACC. Now that you know of the NACC, we can talk about the current leadership so that you can get to know us a little bit better. Hi everyone, I'm Diana Anko Aingire. She Diana Anko Aingire in Chia. She look at an initial, na apat on the mana. She a touching edition chain, na kongi gaigura. Hello everyone, I'm Diana Anko Aingire. I am Navajo Kaiwa and Comanche. My mother is Navajo from Wyoming Valley, Utah, and my father is from the Southern Oklahoma Hobart area, and he is Kiowa and Comanche. I'm the assistant director of the NACC, and I oversee the day-to-day -day functions of the building. I also supervise the NACC house staff, who are responsible for a lot of the major events that happen throughout the year for the NACC community. We also have our director and assistant dean, Matthew Macamino. Dean Macamino is from the Grand Traverse Bay Band of Chippewa Indians of Michigan. The students often refer to him as Dean M. Dean Macamino is a big fan of walking. He's also a residential fellow of Trumbull College and lives there with his wife and two kids. All right, I wanna talk about a few amazing community highlights that we had this past year. The first event I wanna highlight is the Yale Indigenous Arts Night. This event included so many partners like the Yale University Art Gallery and the Yale Repertory Theater and so many more. The first reason why I feel like this is an, a really important event is because it was highlighting one of our historic exhibi exhibitions at the UAG, the Yale University Art Gallery, which was also curated by three of our Yale alums, Katie McCleary, Joseph Zordon, and Leah Tristanian, who were very active within our NACC community. Their exhibit was called Place Nations, Generations Beans. At the same time, we also had a play happening at the Yale Repertory Theater in the spring of 2020 called Manahatta. This play was written by playwright and lawyer, Mary Catherine Nagel, that was both written and casted with indigenous people. Finally, this event allowed us to highlight one of our local uh, catering companies, Sly Fox Den, that is owned by Wampanoag chef, Sherry Pocket. I want to highlight some exciting statistics that you all might be interested in. With the Yale Indigenous community, we have roughly 150 students scattered throughout our Yale College, undergrad, and graduate and professional schools. We also have over 40 tribal nations represented, um, and that's just a rough estimate. We definitely probably have more, and we love to highlight them within our Hall of Nations. It's also very important to note that every year our freshman class gets bigger and bigger with our indigenous community, and we're so excited and hope that that will continue to grow. I also want to highlight that there are very many events that happen on campus on a regular basis, both at the NACC and elsewhere. This allows our indigenous community to have fun, meet new people, and also stay connected. We have events like baking and bonding, movie marathons, long nights against procrastination that allows students to study and be accountable to each other if they're studying for major exams and papers. We also have a family weekend dinner for our community so that students who have family on campus or if their family was unable to come to campus, we can all come together for a moment, have some really good food together. That is a picture of our most recent Christmas party with our students, faculty, and community members. Here are some of our students being highlighted in the media. In the spring of 2019, we had three women within the field and discipline of architecture. Angelica Gallegos, Sherelle Brown, 
and Summer Sutton. These three women co-founded the Indigenous Scholars of Architecture, Planning, and Design, or ISAPD, and continue to be a force to reckon with within the discipline of architecture. In the spring of 2020, Megan Lada Gupta was interviewed by the NPR Detroit Today as a reporter for Bridge Magazine. She's also the editor and founder of Indigenizing the News. We also have Nolan Arkansas, who wrote a news article in One Feather, his local tribal newspaper. So there are many ways that you can stay connected with us, even if you're not on campus. We of course have our Yale NACC Facebook that you are more than welcome to check out. We also have an Instagram that has a plethora of highlights and events. So if you would like to browse through uh, previous events that happened, be sure to check out our Instagram. We also have a Twitter. Be sure to look us up at Yale Natives. We also have our Yale and ACC website. We definitely try to keep our events up to date as possible. We also have a few videos on there, as well as Bulldog Days that happens in April of each year for all of our incoming freshmen. We hope you enjoyed learning about our community and thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. We look forward to seeing you.